Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and there's another microphone. It's not a wireless one like the one I'm wearing. This is designed to go on your video camera or maybe your smartphone, whether it be an iPhone or an Android. This is designed to go on there. So with that, we'll do the unboxing and we're going to see what you get for your money and then we're going to give it a test. Alright, let's have a look to see what you get. I bought this from Amazon and I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. Oh, well packaged. Right, so it comes in a plain box, which is unusual. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the price. Cost around about £40 or just under £40. Oh, comes in a little bag or a little case. Oh, that's very nice. There. Yeah. That's very nice. So, got a little handle on it. Let's have a look inside. Probably got it upside down. You just know it. Du, du, du. Oh, no, eh? Oh, well, that's quite impressive. So. Would you have, oh two shop mounts so have, these are shop mounts yeah so you get comes with two shop mounts don't know why it comes with two but there you go they look both the same to me feel about the same way yeah. so two shop mounts unusual uh, what's it this is probably a fluffy or windshield yeah it's a big one and all or cat they call it Oh, there's your own down there. So that is a big fluffy. Yeah, that's a fluffy. Uh, comes with silicon, or whatever it's called, uh, silica gel. Uh, this is probably the mic. Oh, it is a, oh, it's quite a big mic. Bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's got quite a weight to it as well. So it comes with a, another windshield. That's a foam one, and that's a fluffy. It says Pixel, so it's made by a company called Pixel. This is the M80, or well, that's what it says on the, on the front. So, uh, yeah, made in China. It feels like quality, actually. It feels, that is metal. It's definitely metal. So, yeah, very nice. What else to get? So it comes with uh, two jack connections. Okay, so it comes in two different colours. So, the choice of black or red. What's that say on the side? Camera connection cable. They probably both say the same. Oh, right. One's phone connection. So the red one is phone connection. And the reason they're different is because you see the little black markers there. Well, you have only two on that one. So the camera one has only two. And the phone one has three. That is very important to uh, remember that. Without that, you will not pro pick up proper sound through your phone if you decide to use your phone so that is very good that's that's well thought out so that says phone connection cable right so remember that and this one just says camera connection cable because phone connections work slightly different to the uh, cameras uh, what's this no idea it's in foreign probably um, it isn't foreign at all uh, probably the instructions and uh, registration register your warranty okay I've got to see what this is I need to understand it hopefully it'll be in other languages hopefully du, du, du. Uh, maybe not maybe not nah, it's got to be in it component name there you go it says in English microphone down the bottom so it comes in a few different languages. Ah, that's good. So at least we know it's in English. And it's got an extension cable. Have a look. Very nice quality as well. Cabling feels really nice. Yeah, it looks like an extension cable to me. Right, so that's it. So let's quickly go through everything you get. Obviously, you get a nice little case, which is nice. You get a fluffy or a cat. 
this is designed for when you're outside so you stick that in there take that off you pop that in there so da, da, da. meow so that's your fluffy so I'll stick that on for now that's quite nice actually I'm quite impressed with that that's very good uh, bring me rubbish out of the way it comes with an extension cable so if you need an extension cable for whatever reason that comes with it which is really nice so that will go in there like so I wasn't expecting an extension cable I didn't see anywhere where it says you will get that so that's an added bonus it comes with two choices one for your camera sorry one for your camera one for your camera phone so if you're going to use your phone whether it be an android or an iphone you're going to need to use this one and you might need an adapter it doesn't come with the adapter so that's that and it comes with two shock mounts and the way you do that should be just push it on basically going to break it that's easy easy peasy lemon squeezy that's yeah, very easy there you go so we will be testing that I will stick that on my other camera and I will test it and uh, we'll do an indoor test first and then we'll do an outdoor test so yeah very impressed so far a uh, plain box would have been nice to have a box with a picture and that on there but it's not a deal breaker is it like I said, it comes with a spare shock mount as well. So you could have two set up at the same time. Yeah, very good. £40 for all this. At the end of the day, it's all down to the quality of sound that that picks up. So with that, let's give her a test. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do a couple of tests. We're going to do one with me standing over here, which is about six foot away, and have a listen to it. And then one with, I'm a bit closer so about three foot away. Then we're gonna try it with the computer turned off because my fans are quite noisy. So the chances are it's picking up the fans. So with that, how do I sound? And my floor squeaks as well. So this is probably about three foot away and hopefully I'm uh, a bit clearer, not so much echoey as what you might have heard. And hopefully you won't pick up so much background noise like the uh, computer's running especially that one over there. It's got some really big fans in it. It's got 140 mil fans, they are quite noisy. So hopefully I do sound uh, a lot clearer by being a little bit closer. So um, with that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the computer off and we're gonna do the same test again and see how quiet it is. Right, the computer's off so it should be pretty quiet in there. You might hear a bit of fridge noise, but I don't think you will. And uh, I'm about six foot away again. So hopefully it's a lot uh, quieter. And back to my three foot again. So again I'm three foot away. And again I should be coming out nice and clear. There's no background noise. Like I said, the computer's off so the fans are not running. <laughs> you might hear my fridge, I don't know. But that is on minus six on my camera. I've got the microphone set on minus six, so hopefully that's probably about right. My camera can go down to minus 12. So looking at the bars, I'm, I'm between halfway and two thirds, which is where I want it to be. So what we've got to do now is test it outside. Right, we're testing it outside. It is uh, chucking it down with rain. Uh, it's quite noisy in the background. You may be able to hear it or not, and it's quite windy, so I brought the fluffy out. So we're going to test the fluffy as well. So I'm not sure, but looking at the uh, sound bar, it's definitely picking up background noise. It will do. It's on minus six at the moment, so with that, I'll stick the fluffy on. Right, so I put the cat on, or the windshield, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it the fluffy, and uh, it is very windy. As you can hear, it's very windy, it's raining, there's traffic noise in the background, but hopefully you can still hear me nice and clearly, hopefully. And looking at the bar, I would say you can hear me nice and clearly. And you can probably hear the traffic in the background. 
and probably the wind as well. So with that, let's get back inside. Right, so I've done a thorough test of it. I took it outside when it was extremely windy. It was raining. There was a lot of traffic in the background. It was never designed to stop all that noise. And I don't think any wind muff was going to ever stop that amount of wind blowing through it. But I thought we'd done a pretty good job. The idea behind something like this is to try and reduce the background noise so that when you're standing in front of the microphone, whoever's talking can be picked up nice and clearly. And I think the microphone done a very good job of picking up my voice out in that weather. And you could hear me nice and clearly. I had to listen to it and I thought, yeah, that is pretty good. It was never going to be fantastic. The only way you're going to get something even better than that is to pay a lot more money. This only cost $39.99. And for that kind of money, you're getting a case, you're getting a windshield, you get two shock absorbers, you get two leads for one for your camera, and one for your phone if you want to use an external mic on your phone. You've got two leads for that. You've even got an extension lead as well, which I thought was, you know, pretty good. I wasn't expecting the extension lead, so I was well impressed. Inside, it's a little bit different, and this is down to purely this room itself because it's very hollowy or echoey because it hasn't been properly insulated so it's not properly soundproofed so that it doesn't make it sound too hollowy so if i get closer to the microphone like this i will sound not so hollowy not so echoey and if i move further back i will sound more hollowy because it is down to this room so when you're doing any type of recording you should look at the environment that's going to be in and hopefully you can soundproof it or dampen the sound down. I haven't done that in this room. I will be looking at something like that in the future. But for now, I'm very impressed with that mic. I think it's done an excellent job. Considering how much you pay for it, less than £40, it definitely gets my thumbs up and hopefully this video will get your thumbs up. And if it didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.